Sony films are coming to the Disney-owned streamers, including Disney Plus and Hulu. Let's talk about it. Back on April 8th, it was announced that Netflix and Sony were teaming up. Sony's movies were going to go to Netflix directly after their theatrical run. But today was announced that after that run on Netflix, those movies are going to the Disney streamers, Disney Plus and Hulu. Now, this is exciting for one, if, if only for one reason, that now it means the Spider-Man movies are going to be on Disney Plus, joining the other MCU movies. This is fantastic news for us MCU fans. Of course, for those of us here in the States, a movie like Venom, Let There Be Carnage, which is allegedly going to be rated R, uh, we'll find out, but that'll be going to Hulu instead of Disney+. Plus. But yeah, this means that after those movies play on Netflix, they're going to be going to Disney+, Plus, including, we're talking about franchises like Hotel Transylvania. You know, you know that'll be big on Disney+. Plus. People might remember Disney already, the Disney Channel, actually aired a Hotel Transylvania TV series. So maybe they might have uh, now have the movies with that on Disney+. Plus. The Jumanji movies. That'd be great for Disney+. Plus. And then uh, the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movies, the classic 2018 film and the upcoming sequel, those will be coming to Disney+. Plus. Now again, this will be for what they call the Pay 2 window, okay? The Pay 1 window, that's going to be when they're on Netflix. Now how long are they going to be on Netflix and when will they be going to Disney+, Plus and Hulu, as well as Disney's uh, cable networks like FX? Uh, well, to put it into perspective, we don't know the specifics just yet. Typically, you would expect those movies to hit Netflix about nine months after they debut in theaters. Of course, the theatrical landscape has changed tremendously over the past year, what with Warner Brothers putting their theatrical films on HBO Max at the same time. <clears throat> so we might expect that theatrical window to be shortened, uh, those movies hitting Netflix sooner, which would mean they might hit Disney Plus and the Disney Networks even sooner. Take a movie like Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Now that's supposed to hit theaters this September. I'm going to guess it's going to hit Hulu or another Disney platform, probably, I would say probably 2023. I think you're going to have the theatrical release that window, then it's going to go to Netflix. If it leaves Netflix in 20, uh, late 2022, early 2023, I think it probably is going to be hitting the Disney-owned uh, streamers or uh, the cable networks, Disney's cable networks, probably about mid to late 2023. We'll just find out. I'm eager to learn the specifics. Them hitting the Disney um, streamers and networks will be what they call the pay to window. Now again, there was a time when you had a better uh, a better reading of what pay one and pay two mean. Now with the way things are changing, we're gonna see those probably redefined. It's exciting news if you're a comic book fan. It's exciting news if you are uh, if you are even subscribed to Disney Plus or Hulu and you just want to see that library expand with more blockbusters. Even the Ghostbusters movies. I guess this means that Ghostbusters Afterlife. Could even hit Disney Plus. Personally, I still feel like a studio or a company is going to buy Sony in the next few years. But the thing is, if a studio were to buy Sony, the Spider-Man rights automatically revert back to Disney. Hence, the biggest cash cow that Sony has as far as the theatrical, their film uh, department goes, their film studio, you buy Sony, the biggest franchise they have suddenly goes out the door. But if any studio has something to gain from owning Sony, it would be Disney. I'm not saying Disney is going to buy Sony. I'm just saying I think out of out of any potential buyer, Disney would have the most to gain. They'd get the rights to the Spider-Man films. They would totally own those completely. So when the next Spider-Man, when the umpteen, the next umpteen Spider-Man movies gross a billion dollars, that would be Disney's. Heck, for someone like me, it'd be even cool to see Disney finally own the other Muppet movies. Uh, Muppets Take Manhattan and uh, uh, Muppets from Space. Of course, I doubt Bob Chapek is laying in bed at night thinking, I've got to get those Muppets rights. But uh, but yet, yeah, the, the Spider-Man stuff, I can see, again, if any studio has something to gain from purchasing Sony, it would be Disney. Disney just finally getting tired of sharing those box office grosses and owning the Spider-Man franchise outright. These are exciting times, especially if you're a comic book fan. I'm eager to learn more, eager to see what happens. You never know what's going to be announced from one day to the next. So uh, stay tuned. I'm sure we're going to hear more exciting things from that Sony uh, Spider-Man franchise. So what say you? Are you excited about these Sony movies going to Disney Plus and Hulu? Are you already subscribed to one of those? Maybe Maybe you just kind of shrug at the news. You're, you have Netflix, they're going to Netflix first, so who cares 
in your opinion if they go to Disney Plus. I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.